What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. Pacanya on my brand new Kudu Grill using my brand new Kudu Grill rotisserie. As you guys can see, I have a Kudu Grill right here. That is Kudu Grill number one. Over here, I got Kudu Grill number two. Kudu was gracious enough to send me their brand new version of the Kudu Grill. If you guys don't know what the Kudu Grill is, I'll leave a link up there to my video going over that. I will also leave a link in the description where you can pick up one of these Kudu Grills. All right guys, Pecania, let's get busy. All right, so the first thing we gotta do with our Pecania here, I've trimmed it up just a little bit, took a little bit of the fat off on the other, other side there. So if you're putting Picanha on a rotisserie or a skewer, you're going to cut it against the grain. If you were doing steaks out of this, you would want to cut it with the grain, okay? So right now, it looks like our grain is running this way. So I'm going to turn the picanha this way, and then I'm going to go about three fingers or so. Well, first of all, actually, I'm going to just cut this tip off because that's going to be way too long. So I'm going to just come about right here. And these are going to be our tips, the smaller pieces there. Okay, so what we're going to do is go about three fingers. So before somebody freaks out about this knife, this is a Cutco knife. It is serrated, but the way it's beveled, you don't get that pulling action. It makes a very smooth cut. So we're going to go one more time here. All right, and then see what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this on the skewer and we're going to be turning it like that and then skewering like that. All right, get these finished cut up and we'll uh, get them on the skewer. All right, so first thing we're going to do is going to use this right here just to help us out a little bit. We'll probably have, we may have to move it sometime during the cook. Okay, so now that we got that on, what you want to do here is you want to start with your largest piece, pieces first and then, you know, large, medium, and then small on the very end. Okay, this looks like our largest piece here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pierce close to the end. Now what I like to do is kind of turn it like this. And then, and then when you get it there, you can just kind of work it through. Okay, back it off a little bit. And we'll go about right there. All right, this looks like our next biggest piece. All right, we got us a nice three big pieces. We'll use uh, these for, I don't know, maybe I'll try grilling these. All right, before we get these this thing rolling, let's go ahead and the uh, only thing we're gonna season this with is sea salt. Now I'm using a Jacobson sea salt, and we're just going to rotate it a little bit. So this picanha that we're doing right here, I don't necessarily wouldn't call it a recipe because you're just salting the picanha, but it's more or less tips. And I got it out of this Tarasco, I think that's how you say it. Basically just gives you tips on how to rotisserie or grill picanha. The culinary director of Texas to Brazil is the one that wrote this book. I highly recommend picking this book up if you're into rotisserie and grilling. One of the tips that I want to tell you is, so it's just like we did, we salted the meat, that's all we're gonna do, and you shave portions of the picanha off and eat it, and then you put it back on it, so it's continuously rotisserie, so you're basically letting it get rare, medium rare, well done, whatever it is, that's what's great about slicing it right off the skewer. Also, you wanna make sure that your picanha is 10 inches above your coals and you don't want any flame ups if it starts flaming up you need to, to move your picanha up or away from the fire
All right, guys, look at this. I've already checked it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and look at the beauty on that. So, the idea behind this is we slice some off now. As you can see, I've already sliced some off. I'm going to just go ahead. This is going to be our pitcher side, so that's why I'm not sliced on that side. So, I'm going to go ahead and slice it just like this. So I want some of that fat. All right, let's let's give it a try. Oh man. Perfectly perfectly salted. All right, so obviously the deeper that we go in, the more rare it's going to be. So you slice off what you want, resalt it if need be, throw it back on there and just keep roasting and just keep doing that. Freaking fantastic. All right, guys. Picanha on your Kudu Grill and the Kudu Grill rotisserie. You got to do it. And listen, guys, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. Make sure you like it. And if you really like what you see, go ahead and share it on your Facebook, your Instagram, or wherever it is you want to do it. All right, guys, enough talk. Thank you, Kudu. Do it.